Video production crews in Glenwood Springs are busy finishing up a new documentary on the history of the Western Slope town. It's being produced by the True Media Foundation, which Nine News Mountain News and reporter Matt Renew tells us turns video play into video work into kids play. Chris, go ahead and get where the lights are, please. The set is hectic. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Try to stay as still as possible. We have a deadline to meet. A collection of cameras. Yeah, I need the tapes in the cameras now. And lots of lights need to be set up for a full-scale production. Getting the camera ready. The only slight difference. It's pretty exciting. Is that 15-year-old Justin White. I like the editing process here and shooting. Is about the oldest member of this all-kid crew. More so, it's the... The, the, the 11 to 15 year old. But these kids have a big job. Produce a documentary using video cameras to give viewers a glimpse of what Glenwood Springs used to look like. They're documenting the pioneers of this valley. Chris Tribble is about the only adult on set. Isaac, please. Entrusting his production company equipment. It is expensive equipment, yes. <laughs> to kids all taking part in a mentorship program by the True Media Foundation. They all like to make movies. They all like to edit. They, they have um, the skills to do all this. Like Isaac, who wants to make documentaries. They have a meaning, and it's also something that I just enjoy. Hey, hold on, guys. Here we go. One of many young filmmakers here, not only learning the finer points of video. They're getting real-time, real-life experience here. But have been hard at work documenting history. We've been working on it pretty much the whole summer. Give me another one. While making a little history of their own. In Glenwood Springs, Matt Renew. Bring these two generations together. Nine News, Mount Newsroom. The True Media documentary on the history of Glenwood Springs will be finished by the end of this month and shown in downtown Glenwood Springs. It eventually will be aired by PBS. They're all going to have our jobs. I was just going to say, <laughs> we've seen the future, and there it is. You know what, though? It's great that they're starting it at this age, because oh, yeah. if they really want to pursue a career, they'll be Wait, the, so far ahead of their competition, headster. so to he speak. Plus, it's really a business for kids now, because it, editing, everything's done yeah, through the computer. E e the technology has changed so much in the time that we entered in the business when we were 12. Say, I was going to say, when we were their age, we were still drawing when things on the inside of cave in walls. Sixth grade, let's just <laughs> lie so nobody checks out the truth about that. But it really, it's amazing. It's amazing last five years that. That's right. how much this profession has changed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, so they really, it's good for them. It's all non-linear. When we started, it was still, well, you know. They probably might just jump into documentary film work. Could be, yeah. Could Sounds be. like that one young guy has that idea. So, but they, good for them. I mean, to get oh, that kind so of I hope experience. The, everybody yeah. in town turns out to see the film. Absolutely, looks fun. Nice. The and history we'll be right of Glenwood. Just a second.